The life of pilots at fee-for-departure carriers is hard. Low pay, career stagnation, and aggressive management efforts to erode Alpha pilot leaders' hard-won contract victories are the norm these days. The recent overwhelming contract rejection by ASA and Express Jet pilots and tough American Eagle negotiations has put a larger spotlight on just how challenging the situation is today. In many emails I've received, you have expressed concern about current negotiations and your future. Unfortunately, we can't predict the future. And as hard as ALPA works to shape the landscape, we aren't in complete control of the industry changes underway or company financial decisions to stop doing business or file for bankruptcy. But I can speak about your union's consistent and unyielding support for other pilot groups in recent years. ALPA leadership, fellow ALPA members, and ALPA staff supported Comair pilots in 2000 during their 90-day strike, rallied behind Express Jet pilots in 2003 to negotiate an industry-leading contract, and in 2011 applied massive resources to help Pinnacle, Masaba, and Colgan pilots gain a superior single contract in just over 100 days. In between those landmark victories, the same commitment and resources were put to work at Air Wisconsin, Jazz, Atlantic Coast Independence, ASA, Piedmont, PSA, Mesa, and many others, whether making improvements or protecting pilots during company bankruptcies. So what has changed about ALPA's course of action? Absolutely nothing. We are the same hardworking union that supported each and every one of those negotiations. In fact, I firmly believe your union's commitment to all pilots, no matter what company they work for and what kind of airplane they fly, has only gotten stronger. ALPA's Vice President for Administration, American Eagle Captain Bill Coet, will add more on this important topic. Thanks, Lee. But the airline industry has changed. Financial scrutiny resulted in the consolidation and capacity reduction at brand carriers. And the same thing is now happening industry-wide. Pilots aren't to blame, but we have to think our way through the industry cycle that's underway. The response by pilot groups in this environment has been varied. Last week, pilots of ASA and ExpressJet overwhelmingly rejected a concessionary contract and sent a clear message to their management team. They deserve better. And your union is working aggressively with elected pilot leaders on a path there. ELPA is founded on the principle that each pilot group and its local leaders get to make bargaining decisions. ASA Express Jet is an illustration of just that. And, as always, the association provides support from fellow pilots, professional resources, financial backing, and legislative and regulatory access during the process. Next week, the elected leaders of Air Wisconsin, American Eagle, ASA, Commute Air, Compass, Endeavor Air, Express Jet, Jazz Aviation, Mesa Air Group, Piedmont, PSA, and Trans States have been invited to convene as a group at the ELPA headquarters to discuss these issues. And we will be there to help plot a course and execute on their direction. Thanks, Bill. As our record has shown, working together we can emerge with stronger contracts and more robust career opportunities. And your union will continue to dedicate the necessary resources to the fight. Call for airline brands to take more responsibility for your carriers and enlist the National Mediation Board to help solve these problems. ALPA is unyielding in its mission. Our union will devote its full resources to protect and improve the careers of all our members. In the end, we are all pilots, 
And I believe in pilots, period.